Hello. Over at the diary of the Internet Storm Center, my latest diary entry is about a malicious document that contains uh, an embedded VBS script. And this uh, VBS script is a downloader, so it will just download an executable and write it to disk and execute it. The, but the particular thing about this uh, VBS script is that it will sleep for five minutes. And not only will it sleep during those five minutes, but every minute it will also check the time online to make sure that uh, it is not in a sandbox that does uh, time acceleration. So let's uh, do the uh, analysis of this document here. So with OLIDUMP, the document, it's a docx uh, document. And as you can see, it contains four uh, OLE files. With an OLE 1.0 native stream for each. So you can see this here with the name, but also with the indicator O. Oh, that's something new that I added to this version of uh, OLEDUMP. And what you will also remark is that the size of all those streams are actually the same. So maybe uh, they could be the same stream, have the same content. And that is something that we can check with option C, calculate. This will calculate the MD5 hash of the content of each stream. And as you can see here in the different uh, OLE files, the hashes are the same. So those are actually the same embedded files. So we just need to look at the first one. So se let's select A2 and get the information for this uh, OLE 1.0 embedded stream. Okay, and so here you have the names of the embedded stream. You can see here document number dot docx and then a lot of spaces and dot then dot VBS. So it's actually a, a dot VBS file. 3,400. 42 bytes and it starts with dim jjk sub d1q so we can dump this so let's dump this to the screen and here you have uh, the vbs script and this here is actually an encoded string so hexadecimal and here the key to decode it. It's actually uh, XOR encoded. So we can use our plugin. So let's pipe this again to OLEDUMP. And we are going to use uh, the HTTP heuristics uh, plugin. But first we are going to tell OLEDUMP that we are providing it with the source code of VBA, so raw data, option R and then option P with the name of the plugin, like this. And here you can see that it is able to extract the three URLs. These are the two URLs with the payload, and this here is the URL that is used to check the time.